Hello guys, uh, this is Jagan from uh, Capital Zone and today I am going to discuss important topics as so kind of rule based to select the stocks which are moving uh, in intraday. Okay? Um, ideally speaking, people will say that at the end of the day, uh, uh, how uh, you would have picked the stocks, how which stock is moving up, which stock is moving down, which stock is really aggressive. Okay? So if you want to make a really good profit in intraday, you need to choose the right momentum stocks. But the question is, how do you identify the momentum stocks? Because at the end of the day, everyone will know what stock moved. Okay? And I'm going to tell about your logic by which you can choose the list of stocks, you can rank accordingly uh, in Ami Broker or TradingView. And then you can play your intraday system. Say, for example, you're having ORB, you're having open trade breakout, or you're having super trend, or any other price action systems, Bollinger Band, or any other system, okay, Dow Theory. This logic can be applied once you do a ranking. So, how do you choose the momentum stock? How do you choose the stocks for intraday? So, that is a question, right? So, for that, we should know uh, what is the beta, okay? So, beta is nothing but, um, say for example, and this is how much, how much percentage stocks move with the respect to Nifty. So, that is called beta, okay? So, this is, say for example, Nifty, okay? And this is stocks. If Nifty moves 1%, the stocks moves 1%, then beta is 1. Okay. If Nifty is moving 1%, stock is moving 2%, then beta is 2. If Nifty is moving 1%, the stock is moving only half a percent, then the beta is 0.5. Simple. Okay. With the respect to the Nifty index, in, uh, this is a benchmark. With the respect to the Nifty, how much percentage it moves. Okay. And 1 is a moderate beta. And less than one, I'm sorry, greater than one is high beta. Less than one, it is a low beta. Okay. And greater than two, very high beta. Okay. So if you are choosing the stocks which are more than uh, beta two, so I'm not saying I'm not saying about aggressive stocks, I'm not going to say momentum stocks, high beta stocks. What is beta? It moves faster than nifty either in up direction or in down directions so we are going to choose the stocks which are moving more than two times of nifty movement okay how do you know the nifty movement okay so 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 the the, the question is some people will say okay so high beta stocks again i know that actually state bank of india access bank reliance infra bajaj finance high beta stocks itc infosys and all the stocks are low beta stocks but how do you define mathematically with this low beta or high beta okay so that is the logic okay so some days i've seen itc was low beta it doesn't move some days itc was moving up and down much much better than nifty uh, during the result season or some other season so the beta ness of any stocks may be seasonal or it may change the nature so how do you choose it okay so that's what i'm going to teach you okay so now we are going to say the adr this is the indicator average trade range so average trade range how much per, how much market moves in a day okay so i have taken a day chart and this is adr and this is says a 129 rupee 129 points it means that per day it moves 129 points per day okay for last to 14 days for the last to 14 days recently nifty moves only 129 points what is the nifty total value 17674 approximately it is equivalent to 0.75 percentage means means that three quarters okay 0.75 okay 0.75 percentage it moves in intraday so that is the beta of that is a benchmark for all other stocks so now we are going to compare this you can say as a one rank one rank it is equal to 0.75 percentage okay so let's do this exercise for some other indi some other stocks whether it is a high beta or low beta how do we compare Okay. So, for which go here. So, let me choose any random stocks. Infosys, let me choo choose. Okay. So, you can choose any other stocks. It doesn't matter. So, here you check it right now. Okay. So, what is the value? So, here the same thing. ADR 14. 
and 27 rupees is the one okay but how do you know 27 is a high beta or low beta okay so for which simple logic what i am going to do 27 is infosys adr value 27.37 and divide by infosys value what is this 1228 which is close to 2.25 percent so infosys moves 27 points whether it is a good move or bad move that i don't know but when i divide this one it moves 2.25 percentage per day it moves more than 2.25 percentage now is it a good move or bad move maybe good move so for example in low wicks it is a good move in high wicks it is a bad move because high wicks it's supposed to move three percent per day okay but what is the benchmark the benchmark what we have nifty benchmark right now for the last 14 days it is 0.75 percentage okay so what is the in stocks we want to check infosys so infosys what is the movement per day 2.25 percent so this is one hour rank one this is 3R. So, what is the beta? Beta is 3. It's a high beta stocks. Right now, for the last 14 days, Infosys is a high beta stocks in daily chart for the last 14 days. The simple logic. So, Infosys is selected for intraday for any kind of algorithm you have. It can be ORB, it may be any other indicator based, price action based, it will give better results. Uh, the guys and rather than blindly going and then doing all the algorithm in all the stocks, okay, choose only high beta stocks and then apply the algorithm. Why? Because it has the movement, it has a better movement than the index. So how do you choose it? That's the logic what I said right now. Okay, so with that you will find a better results than doing a plain vanilla model. So, so th this kind of logic, okay. So in intraday, how do I optimize the system? That's what I teach in a workshop. So it is available in Tamil and Chennai and all other places. It is available in English. If you are interested, you can come and join my workshop. Thanks for watching. And this video would have been really useful in selecting the high beta stocks, high momentum stocks, aggressive stocks for intraday. And uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.